All right, Peter, so here's this first swing today. And like you said, the contact had been kind of inconsistent the last week or two, so you've been working pretty hard on it. And what we see here relative to the swing, the good news is the club edge right around that plane line on the downswing, but you can see that you got it kind of fat, you got it toward the toe, so the ball flight wasn't that great. And right through impact, you see your head's getting out of the circle, and you're pulling up right through impact. And then over here on the same swing from the face on angle, again, those arms weren't as extended as we'd like them to be. And I'm going to say part of the reason that may be is because you intuitively know you're too close to it, and you're kind of flinching away from it. And that's why up there I had you make sure you kept your arms extended into that finish so that can become a control, not a variable. But that's a control. And that, over the years I've seen, will help you keep your head more level if you get measured to the ball with your arms being extended with your good triangle swing. Okay. But the more important thing that I'm going to say to help you get more solid contact is to understand this dynamic of what the club head is actually doing through impact on the good shots. It's higher there on our left blue circle, lower on the right blue circle. Club heads going downward through the ball to get the divot out front. See how much lower it is there. Whereas over here for you, we see, see it's lower at the start, or before impact, and then higher after impact. Again, right through impact, you see that club head reaches its lowest point out in front of the ball. And the divot happens out in front of the ball, just like you did many times today. Okay? And again, just rate it somewhere between 1 and 10. You know, again, it's on a continuum. It's not just good or bad. And then little pitches, you know, maybe hit six or eight pitches like that down the line, then get your 8 iron and try and hit. That's what we do if we have more time. Put six balls down and hit a eight iron, trying to get the same divot. Maybe some half swings, maybe some full swings, both. All right. So that's a good question there, man, about good feedback for me about the impact. And again, remember in the book, do you have one of these? I think I have one. I don't know where it is. Okay. Yeah, it had a pink one at times over the years. Yeah, that fuchsia, orange, pink. But again, you're the teacher. Mainly, I'm helping you improve your observational skills. So again, you can make the finer distinctions on your own. And so 1 to 10 is a finer distinction than just good or bad. All right? All right, man, we'll stop there for today. This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have. And so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around meddling. This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's a down-the-line camera angle for our 2D equipment. And then we have the face on camera angle also. And then what we also have here is 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment. And we can get your swing from down to the 1 120th of a, one of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders, and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from PuttersEdge.com. So when you hit your full shot, it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the step meter, 10.5 on the step meter, and 12.5 on the step meter. That benefits my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick. You can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn a certain field in the golf swing that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here. And then also we plot your whole set, each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. Then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and get time, we can do that. It's my daughter. Ellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> no wonder you've been gone, Ellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area. This is closed until April, as you can see. Uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or... If you get pretty satisfied and things are looking better on the video here, we're kind of cooped up in 
concerned, we want to go outside. We can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about five or ten or fifteen minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold, out into the air, and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is for the front, back, and middle of each green. And again, the covered area here is heated, so we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said, and it enables us to see some ball flight, and then we get satisfied as things are looking the way we want, and we come back inside, take off our coat, and look again at the video equipment to see how this one's looking, to make sure that you understand it. And then notice too, my exercise ball up top here, and then also, so I help my students a lot with their fitness through the winter, and then I will help you also with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golfpsych.com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Meadowlinks, or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsud.com. Take care.